I am truly honored by such fulsome praise. Thank you, my friends, for those kind remarks. As Gil Einstein indicated, I have taught psychology for 52 years, two at the College of Worcester in Ohio, three at Elmira College in upstate New York, and 47 at Furman. I will take this opportunity to mention, albeit briefly, a few of the joys of that teaching experience. One great joy of teaching is to observe students' personal, academic, and vocational successes. As Gil indicated, and as John indicated, many of my former students have become psychologists and other professionals with notable accomplishments and I celebrate their successes. I am always pleased when students do well, but I am proudest when students do right. Another great joy comes from mentoring colleagues at Furman and elsewhere, some of whom are in this room. Many of these people have won distinguished teaching awards at local, state, regional, and national levels. Several of them are now outstanding leaders in the American Psychological Association, the Society for the Teaching of Psychology, and the Association for Psychological Science. Let me emphasize one critical point. I take no credit for their noteworthy and commendable achievements. I merely note and commend them. I do, however, take great pleasure from having encouraged these valued cohorts to explore and pursue certain opportunities for their professional development. Perhaps my greatest joy, however, comes from the warmth, friendship, and support of congenial colleagues and faithful friends throughout the world, some of whom are in this room. Most of these people are gracious enough not to dwell on my, my many foibles and idiosyncrasies. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I have a simple and heartfelt message for all of them. You have enriched my life, and I thank you very much. So, my friends, will your adroit navigation of the Scylla and Charybdis in future odysseys end with T.S. Eliot's J. Alfred Prufrock? I grow old. I grow old. I shall wear the bottoms of my trousers Roll. Shall I part my hair behind? Do I dare to eat a peach? I shall wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I have heard the mermaids singing each to each. I do not think that they will sing to me.
Or will you be reassured by the more hopeful signs in Child Harold's Pilgrimage by Lord Byron? I have not loved the world, nor the world me, but let us part, fair foes. I do believe, though I have found them not, that they may be words which are things, hopes which will not deceive, and virtues which are merciful, nor weave snares for the failing. I would also deem, or others' griefs, that some sincerely grieve, that two or one are almost what they seem, that goodness is no name and happiness no dream. Henry Books Adams said that teachers affect eternity. They never know where their influence stops. William James said that the great use of a life is to spend it for something that outlasts it. Good teachers hope fervently to do just that. Thinking about these comments, I was reminded of William Arthur Ward's remark that the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the great teacher demonstrates, and the truly exceptional teacher inspires. The amazing career of Maury Schwartz tells us a lot about the signal importance of inspiration in teaching. We learn about this former professor of sociology at Brandeis University in a poignant little book titled Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom, published in 1997. We get a fuller understanding of this remarkable man from another little book titled Maury in His Own Words, published in 1999. As Schwartz's extraordinary life illustrates, teaching is more fun than most mortals deserve to have. <laughs> After 52 years of great fun, I simply cannot imagine doing anything else, even for more prestige and more money. <laughs> Please don't tell Furman's academic poobahs, <laughs> but I probably would have paid Furman to let me do what Furman paid me to do. I hasten to add, however, that I would not have paid Furman nearly as much as Furman paid me. <laughs> but the real reason for teaching is to make a difference, to be competent, to be responsible, to be productive, to be unselfish, but proud. Teaching is not really a profession. Teaching is a sacred calling, delightful, demanding, invigorating, mysterious, rewarding, unfathomable, profound, passionate, and precious. 
Good teachers stretch the mind and they stretch the heart. I hope the world will be a little better place because I made a difference to somebody. Because that, my friends, is what teaching is all about. join the psychology department in toasting for just a minute our legendary Dr. Charles Brewer.